Hey guys, I am back. Look what day it is. Guess what day it is. Anybody want to guess what day it is? It's Battle Box Day. That's what day it is. Yeah. So we're outside on a beautiful afternoon. So I'm excited to see what we've got for June 2020. I'm going to get into this box and see what we have here. What do we have here? Oh dear God, does Battlebox have its own Netflix series now? Ah, that's... That's something. So let's see, uh, this stuff, always fun. So as we get going with Mission 64, I will tell everybody that if you like what you see in the box and you're interested in Battle Box, and only if you like what you see in the box, because I'm not trying to sell Battle Box to anybody here, um, I have a referral code in the video description that you can use to save yourself some money on your first box. And we can use, um, for referral points still we're so close to getting that uh, ZT knife for the next giveaway uh, we've already got the Chris Reeves Sabenza which you've seen on the channel um, so you know you can check that out but mission 64 so we've got the pro plus there's four levels to battle box basic the advanced the pro and the pro plus each level builds off the one before it. So when you get the Pro Plus, you get the Knife of the Month and everything in the Pro, the Advanced, and the Basic. If you get the Advanced, for example, you'll get everything in the Advanced and everything in the Basic and, and so on. I'm still waiting to discover someone that actually reads all this. But we're going to take a look. Let's see, we have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight items all together. I remember when there used to be like eight items in the Basic Box. Um, but we're going to uh, check out everything. We're gonna go straight through the box and see everything. Tato, you sniffing the stump? What are you doing? You helping? Yeah, you sniff away, my friend. Sniff away. Uh, and we'll um, just take a look at everything in here as we go. So we're gonna start with the basic box. And remember, I wanna point out that all the values you see on this card, they're all MSRP values, okay? There is a better than average chance that if you do some good sniffing around, like Tato, on the internet, you're gonna be able to find, um, you're gonna be able to find this stuff for a better deal individually. Um, the viewers on this channel are awesome at finding better prices on this, but let's get going. So first out of the box, I, uh, I don't know why we got a weird shadow, just weird time of the day, sorry. Um, we've got the Going Gear Micro Stove with an MSRP of $14.95. And I think that we got this item in one of my first battle boxes, actually. This exact item. Um, it wasn't a Going Gear item then, but um, this will screw right on top of your fuel tank. These little armatures will come out and you can actually adjust them for the size of whatever you have on top of the stove. It has an igniter right here. You probably can't see the spark. It's not bad, actually. It works pretty well, this. We can use it to screw on and uh, I, I've used it. It works very well. Um, this is your, your gas control, by the way. I, when I said it screws on and off, that's what I meant. It turns the flame on and off. I, it actually work, it works very well. So now remember I had said last month we got the little uh, refueler uh, attachment for the small propane bottles from the big one and I said sometimes I'll poo poo an item and until uh, I find a better a good use for it so like it's a great example so now if you've got this little thing and you're using this as your let's say primary cooking source or whatever somewhere out in the field and you need to start refueling that little bottle to keep cooking with this that's a great combination of that item and this one uh, so this is actually uh, very much go away ant this is very much worth the money. The only um, problem is, depending on what bottle you're using, it can be 
pretty unstable standing up pretty tall you, you, you want to brace it um, and have it reinforce a little bit um, so that you know nothing bounces around on top of it nothing topples it but it work it does work really really well really really nicely uh, very easily too and putting it away is very simple as well you just take it collapse it back down unfortunately I have lost the orange top to the last one um, but and there you go uh, box isn't waterproof or anything in fact it has a drainage hole in it but very simple to use I, I actually like this item and um, not a bad way to start off the box number two the glow co rechargeable LED headlamp um, why do I feel like we've gotten this before too I don't know I like headlamps a lot I've got a new one from Olight on the way so 500 lumens of light It has a sensor, all right. Gotta have a sensor. Ah, you can wave, okay, you can wave your hand in front of the lamp to change the modes of the headlamp, which I don't know how I feel about that because if you're out in the woods doing something or anywhere in the house doing something and you wave your hand in front of the lamp, why do you really want to? I mean, I need to, I need to, we're going to have to do a full review on this um, to test out all the modes and everything and check it out. Um, need to see, do we need to take something out of this to, nope, no battery protection at all. Um, it's on. Got a red, and a flash, and an off. So basically low, medium, high, and then you got your red and your flash, and that's it. And when you wave your hand in front of the sensor, I can see this being quite annoying if you accidentally run your hand. Well, I guess it's got a, a distance limiter, but it is what it is. Um, we'll do a, we'll do a full review of this on my standard little flashlight course, uh, just to see how it works. Um, the MSRP on this is twenty four ninety nine. It feels a little flimsy, to be honest with you, for a thirty dollar light, but uh, we'll we'll see. Um, it's hard for me to judge in daylight how good a light is. You know, for 30 bucks, uh, for $25, I'm not sure. Um, so this, you know, this, uh, honestly, we gotta, this needs further opinioning before we can say like it or don't like it or, or meh or whatever. Cause I need to test out the light. Okay, buddy. Um, can't really judge it, you know, right out here. If it, if it works well, it's lightweight, hands-free, um, 500 lumens, you know, top light is is not bad for a headlamp when you, if you're just going to do cl you know close up work. Um, so we'll we'll see. Moving on though, Hero Plus Healer 36 inch flat pack splint. Um, I guess they can't use the word Sam splint, which is what this thing is. This is a Sam splint. This is how much is this? 9.99. This is. Uh, so what this is, I'm not going to open it. I'm going to leave it closed. Um, I have demonstrated Sam splints in the plat in the past on this channel. Um, this is absolutely number one worth it for the money. Number two, this is reusable. It can be disinfected. Um, this can be a rigid splint. Um, it's got foam lining, so you have some kind of soft uh, material against the skin. You can use this to for so many things uh this is like a staple of the ambulance of the field medic 
and, and the like, you know, urban, suburban EMT alike. Um, it's got like a an aluminum insert in it, right? So you can shape this around what you need to. So you can make this a splint for just about any part of the body minus, you know, leg traction. Um, it, it can do ankles, it can do wrists, it can do uh, a tib fib, it can do a uh, radial ulnar, it can do... Um, it, it can do just about anything. Um, you can even do a neck collar with it temporarily. It, it is really, really good. And there's lots of survival uses with it too. You can you can craft different things with it. And for $9.95, um, that's, that's pretty good going rate for a Sam Splint or a 36 inch flat pack. Um, definitely, definitely recommend one of these in all of your, you know, field trauma packs, heavy first aid packs, EMT packs, whatever. Awesome. This goes and like it. And I'll, I'll try to, uh, I, I know I demonstrate it in, in some video somewhere. I'll try to find it and put a link in the video description if you guys want to check out different things that you can do with that. I'm just, I'm not entirely sure where it is. I'm going to have to do a lot of digging. Uh, if I can't find it, I'll do a battle box update video and, and tell you which video it's in. And then finally, in the basic box, the KN95 mask. Is it a mask? Oh, it is. It's an actual mask, just kind of thrown in there with no packaging. I'm not sure I like that. Um, and this is, oh, this is free, $3 value. So that goes along, not along, but... Who's going to turn down this these days? Um, there's no information about it. It just is a mask. It says KN95. Is it an N95? I don't know. It says KN95. But it's a mask. And you need one these days. So thanks for freeness. Put that in I like it. The actual last item is the NOSC nasal filters for $5.99. Your daily companion for better life. So you shove these things up your nose. Um, easy to breathe, comfortable to breathe, safe to breathe. Here, I'm just gonna show you this. I have I have no opinion of this. I don't know, I have no idea how this works. Uh, I couldn't even tell you how this works. Uh, I, I've, I am not in a position to comment on this at all, guys, and I'm not gonna BS you through it. So I guess we are gonna have to do a review, you know, a follow-up on this. I, I don't know. Um, I'm going to put it with the light. I'm, I'm not going to tell you something's good or bad or meh if I have no experience with it and I can't really give you uh, any info. i gotta, I got to follow up on that. So at the end of the basic box, they tell you your MSRP value of the whole box is $58.96. We have two solid likeits, you know, in a free mask, and then we have two that just need further evaluation and investigation there. So... You know, cool. I don't know. I kind of feel bad for folks that go with the basic because, well, you got two really good items there. I mean, I don't know. This could turn out to be a great headlamp. I'm not sure, but, uh, you know, I should take it back. Not that I feel bad, but I can't give any opinions on these yet. But we'll, we'll, we'll get there. So let's move into the advance where we have one item which is by SOG, and it's the Snippet Multi-Tool, which actually looks kind of cool. Um, it's a multi-tool centered around scissors, which is interesting because most of them are centered around pliers. Let's uh, figure out where I just put my stupid AFO. There it is. Actually, an AFO too, and I don't normally carry this one, um, but I'm carrying this one over the last couple days specifically because it is the Law Enforcement Military Special Edition. All right, so before we even get to it, let's look at all the tools that they say we have on this. Bottle opener slash jewelry driver. That's interesting. 
toothpick, a blade, fingernail file. Why? What? That's not a tool. Tool. No. Flathead screwdriver, tweezers, scissors. So this is really much more of a. This is not so much of a uh, outdoor survival related thing as like a. I don't even know what to say. The blade steel is five CR15 MOV. What do they say this thing is worth? Twenty nine ninety five. Okay. Yeah. Um, this is more of a around the house kind of um, maybe glove compartment. Interesting. This is very interesting. The combination of tools that they chose to put on this. Oh, it's very smooth cutting. I gotta tell you. A lot of times these small scissors are a pain in the ass to use. And this just is not. Not the most comfortable because you have very, very thin steel, whatever these things are called, wings. Um, but it, it definitely, you know, works. Um, it's not hard to get it to work. It doesn't need to break in. It's very easy. Where's our blade? I want to see our blade, our 5CR blade. Oh, well, that's kind of hard to get out. There we go. And in fairness to the blade, it is a little humid out here, which affects the paper, but definitely. <laughs> Needs to sharpen up the blade a little bit. I'm not even going to do the 550 cord on this. Need to sharpen that blade up a little bit. But it's, you know, again, it's it's like a... It's an EDC kind of thing, not a... Um, toothpick is plastic. Um, it's an EDC kind of tool, not a, you know, rugged use survival kind of tool. There's our bottle opener slash jewelry file. I would call it more of a small slotted driver than a jewelry driver, whatever that is. Um, and it's interesting. I don't have anything like this. I could like this, believe it or not. You know, it's it's very different from any other multi-tool I've ever had. It, I, it's not anything I would rely on. It's it's like a camping convenience tool. It is not a serious multi-tool. I would say. I don't. I mean, really interesting. Not the kind of thing I'm looking for in BattleBox, though. Again, as much as I, I think it's got potential, I got to put this in meh. It's not that I don't like it. It's just, it's not the kind of thing I'm looking for in BattleBox. Um, I know BattleBox is shifting its focus, but it is neither adventure nor tactical nor anything. So you're going to put this little guy in meh right there. And that is our one and only thing in, in the Advanced, which has total retail, you know, MSRP of $88.91. In the Pro, we also have one item, and it is uh, the SOG Camp Axe for $59.95. Tell you what, I guess they got a SOG deal this month. Let's try this. Definitely not the world's most comfortable scissors to use, but the point is, do they work? And the answer appears to be yes. Get off my fingers. Glass reinforced nylon sheath over here. Um, let's refold up our meh. Also glass reinforced nylon handle. Um, very basic small camp axe. And let's see, what is this? Is this just oh. Well, I'm not impressed with this at all. I have it on upside down apparently. Not that I think that's gonna make a huge difference, does it? 
plastic pull tab kind of thing. That's your sheath. Well, I mean, that'll get you out pretty quick. Over there. Over there. Not bad. Um, seems to have a pretty good cutting edge on it. Um, the weight is nice, and it definitely gives you a nice choke up, so you can do some kind of fine work debarking and stuff like that. Um, I, what kind of, does it say what kind of steel we're working with here? Stainless steel. Um, two, here. And we're getting all kinds of shadows now from the camera itself as the sun moves. Two CR13 steel. So I don't know if You're gonna be sharpening this a lot. Um, this is what I'm talking about. When I say SOG is often overpriced, 60 bucks for a tool made out of two CR13. I'm gonna put this right in man with the other SOG thing. And I'm just gonna move on. Um, I, I would prefer that my axe be of a good carbon steel and I'm not even going to touch that. So there we go. Total MSRP 148.86. I'm feeling kind of let down. And then finally the Pro Plus knife of the month is a Buck and Baron. Buck and Baron makes some pretty good stuff. Titanium flipper VG10 Damascus steel. The MSRP there is uh, 129.99. Total value of the box is 278.85. Another little knife. It is a very nice looking knife, but I'm... This is not a comment on Buck and Bear's knife. This is not a knife in the month. Hold on. I'm actually going to leave the camera running. I need to just take a drink of some cherry coke for a minute. I'm leaving the camera running to feel my frustration. This is a beautifully made knife. This is a beautiful piece. Um, the Damascus is a gorgeous pattern. VG10 steel is great. But it's another little knife. It's an EDC knife. It's not an outdoors knife. It's not a tactical knife. Again, this is not about Buck and Bear's knife. Buck and Bear's knife is um, is well made. You've got full titanium. It's a nice design. This is about Battle Box, not including Battle Box things in Battle Box. So this is this is what I'm trying to convey, though. I'm not disappointed in this knife. That's, I mean, it's a, it's a gorgeous Damascus blade. I'm not disappointed in the knife. I'm disappointed in this knife being picked as the knife of the month for Battle Box. I hope you guys understand the difference. Hi, Ethan. I'm going to really enjoy having this knife in my collection. You got a dirty face, sir. This just, uh... Man, that's a gorgeous blade. I'm like trying, I'm trying, I'm trying to really express. This is a 
this is a gorgeous knife. Love this knife. In terms of um, customizability, this this titanium uh, handle, you could do so much to it. Um, I just... It's weird because normally if I don't like the knife of the month, it's because the knife of the month is just like, I, I, what if I, when I have not liked the knife of the month, the knife of the month has been, in my opinion, not a good knife. Um, this is a really nice knife. I just don't feel like it is a good knife of the month. It is smooth cutting. It feels, it actually, it feels really good. Buck and Bear makes excellent products. Um, I have no lack of faith in a Buck and Bear product. I just, a little tiny folding knife like this in my opinion, should never be the Battle Box Knife of the Month. Um, guar! That's all I have to say about this. Um, you know, maybe they should spend less time worrying about their Netflix series and more time sourcing usable field products, not little tiny EDC knives. Just saying. So now I'm really stuck as to where to put this because I like this knife. I don't like it in battle box. So, you know, I have to put it in meh. I have, like it. I'm not gonna put it in don't like it because it is just a beautiful piece of, of art and of nice knife work, you know? And, I pro and I'm gonna love, I love this knife, but I don't like it in Battle Box. So I owe you, I owe you more on the Nosk and the Gloco, but of the actual items we paid for, since this is free, there's two in Like It this month, and there's three in Meh, and then these two we don't know about. Not a great month. Um, so that's it. So there. All right, I guess I'm ready for all your comments now. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you feel. All my energy has been sucked straight out. Yeah. But anyway, you guys are all absolutely awesome. I appreciate every single one of you, and I will be back again real soon.